Hello and welcome to AutoCADs. So in this lecture, I have brought you a five very interesting as well as helpful trick that you should know in AutoCAD. So let's just get started. So the first trick that I have brought you is the trick related to the trim and extent. Now let's say that you have created line like this and like this. Let's just um, uh, assume to be the line like this. Now you want to trim it. Now just for the trim you just have to go for this trim part and now you, if i'm going to click on the enter and if i'm going to click on the line that i want to trim then it will going to be trimmed but let's say that you want to extend this again to this part let's say that you want this to be extended now to this part again so what you do you just switch off the trim and you just go for the extent that is below the trim so over here, if I'm going to click on the trim, you will see that there is an extent. If I'm going to click on that, then again, it's the same tool. So I am going to use this as an extent. Now, let's say that you want to trim this part. So again, you have to do the escape and you have to just produce a trim again, and then you have to trim it. Now I can tell you that there's a trick that you can use to convert the trim into the extent as well as the vice versa so let's say that you want to trim this part so i'm going to use the trim and i'm going to trim out this part now let's say that you want to extend this again so at that time you don't have to go for the extend again you just have to press the shift button hold it and now the trim will going to behave as an extent you can see that now it will going to behave as an extent and the moment you release the shift button it will going to behave as a trim again so with the help of this, you can just switch the tools and you can just make trim as an extent. You can see that I have just pressed the shift and hold it and you can see that it will going to behave as the extent. The same goes for the extent as well. If I'm going to go for the extent and if I am inside the extent, then if I doesn't press anything, the extent will going to behave as an extent. But the moment I press and hold the shift button, it will going to behave as a trim. So this is one of the very interesting trip that you should know and this plays a very important role in civil designs when you when you have to frequently use the trim and extend so at that time you can just press and save the hold button to convert the tool so the next trick i have brought to you is the cal command so cal is one of the very interesting command that you should know but before going for this trick make sure that you have subscribed this channel for the updates like this and if you really like this video then please do uh, press the like button uh, that will going to motivate us now let's just start the cal button now let's say that you want to create a line let's say that you want to create a 100 mm of line so it's very easy you just have to go for the line command you have to put the value that you want make sure i'm going to start the ortho mode and let's say that you want to provide 100 and that will going to present a 100 mm line for you now let's say that i want to get a line that should have some calculations so let's say that there's a calculation that contains 2 into 0 0.56 into 81 so at that time you have to calculate it and you have to put the value if you want to use the conventional technique now let's say that i am going to tell you that you can just easily put this value uh, just like this expression into the line command and that will automatically going to calculate it and put up the calculated value so how we can just do that with the help of the cal tool so for that you just have to go for the line command let's just, just i am going for the line command and i am going to press and you can see that the line will going to start and from here i am going to write one more thing that is we are going to put a column that is the above column and then i am going to write cal so make sure that you write this above column that will going to take this as a command and now if i am going to press enter you can see that it will going to start a cal tool and that will going to ask you for the expression now let's say that i want to provide an expression like 2 into 0 0.86 into 50. so you don't have to do anything you just have to write the expression as it is just make enter and you can see that it will going to create the line with that value so this is a line that it is created with that value now let's say that you want to add up the value of pi so let's say that i want to add up a 2 into pi into 8 so how i can do that i can just write underscore i'm uh, sorry above column and i have written cal just press enter and then let's say that 2 into pi so how, how we can just do the pi you can just write 3.14 3 or you can just provide the pi value if you have in the calculator or if you have in the keyboard 
so i can just write 3.14 into 98 or 89 you can see that it will going to create that line with that value if you are still confused that is it this value or not so for that i am again going for the line and let's say that i am going to make a very easy value let's say that 10 into 10 uh, plus 20 so that we know that it will be 30 so i'm going to create a 30 mm of line you can say that let's just test that it is 30 or not so i'm going for the utility i'm going to check its distance and that will going to have a value of 30 you can see that over here it's 30 so this is how you can just use the cal for the expression to put the expression as the value The next thing that I have brought you is known as the custom line type. So we know about the line type and with the help of line type, we can just produce different types of line. So that is available over here. If I'm going to click on this line type option, you have to click on the other and you can just click on this load and you can just load up different types of lines that is available over here. So let's say that you want to add up the zigzag line. So the last one over here is a zigzag line. Just make it OK and zigzag will going to be on the list. Just make it OK. Just select the zigzag. Just now you can see that if I'm going to just zoom in. So this is the zigzag line that is produced. Now let's say that you don't want a zigzag line. You want your own custom line type. So at that time, how you can just create a line type? For that, let's just see how to create it. So for that, I'm going to create the look of the line that I want. So let's say that I want to create a line like this. And then I want to add up a text that is basically, you can just write it with the help of this single line text. And for the value, I'm going to make it two and text rotation as. So I'm going to write auto cats, let's say. And then I'm going to click on anywhere and just this is the line. And I'm going to add up one line like this. Switch off the ortho. So this is the line type that we want. I want this line as a continuous line of AutoCADs. So how to make the line type? For that, you just have to go for this express tool. And in the express tool, you can, or express toolbar. And in the express toolbar, you will have a tool section. So in the tool section, you will see that there is a tool that is known as make line type. So with the help of this, you can just make your own custom line type. Just click on this. And once I clicked on that, you can see that it will going to ask you for the place where it will going to save it. So I'm going to click on the desktop and I'm going to create a new folder. That is, let's say that line type. This is the name of the folder. And inside this, what will be the line type? Let's say that auto kits. So it will going to save it as a type line type. So make sure that you don't change this. It will going to save it as a line type. Let's make it save and that will going to be saved. But the task is not overhead. In the command box, you can see that it will going to ask you to enter the line type name. So I'm going to line, make a line type name again. Just make it enter. And then it will going to ask you for the description. So you can just provide your own description. Custom line type. And then just press enter. And for the starting point, you have to click on the line that will going to be starting point. And for the ending point, you have to click on this part. Okay, so auto mode, make sure that it is on. And this is the starting point. So now the object has been, uh, the line is starting and end point has been selected. Now it will going to ask you for the object that it contains. So I'm going to select this line as my first object this line as my second object and this line as my third object so i have selected all the object that it should contains just make it enter after that and that's all you have created your own line type now if i'm going to go for inside this line type section you will see that there's a line type that is known as autocads if i'm going to click on that and if i'm going to create a line you can see that it will going to create it that will contain the autocads and all even you can just create a circle that contains that auto gets section so you can see that this is how it will going to create that line type now let's say that you want to load up that line type into the new page so it's fine that this page contains that line type but let's say that you have started a fresh page or you have started a new uh, autocad after uh, that you have created it let's say that i am going to delete this page also now i want to load up inside this since this page does not contain that line type 
So again, you have to just click on this other and then you have to click on this load. And from here, you can see that there's a file section. You can just click on this file section and you can just go for the desktop where you have saved your line type. And you can see that there's a line type that is AutoCADs. Just make it open and that will going to be available. You can see that and its description is also written. Oops, I have written a wrong spelling. That's fine. Just make it okay and now it has been loaded up over here and now you can see that it is now inside the list you can use it and you can just create your own line type like this so this is how you can just create your own custom line type this is very important when you are going to create a line type for companies and all so that plays a very important role So the next thing that I have brought you is known as the time command. So with the help of this time command, you can just find out whatever the time that you have invested in that design. So let's say that here in this drawing tool that I have created, I have created something that is the line type that we have seen so far. And we have just work on this design or you can say that in this page. Now let's say that what is the time that I have invested you want to find out. So for that, you just have to go inside the command box and you have to type time. That's it. You have to write time and just press enter and the dialog box will going to be open. And over here, you can see that all the things, basically every important information that you want is being provided over here. Like what is the time or when the, the what is the current time basically and when it is created basically and what is the last updated so what what was its last upgradation time and whatever the time that you have invested it will going to be shown up over like over here i have invested two minutes 52 seconds over this design and elapsed time means on timer so this is the on timer over here till which time it has been on so this is automatic save time what when it will going to be saved automatically so everything is being provided over here related to the time that you have invested and when it is created. And it's not like that. It has just showing up uh, the time that we have created like today. Let's say that I have just saved this design and I'm going to work tomorrow again with this design. Then also it will going to add up those time that I have been worked in that. So with the help of this, you can just find out whatever time that it has taken for the design. So now I'm going to bring you the last trick of this lecture and this is a trick that is related to the line command. So before starting this, if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, just make sure that you have subscribed this for the updates uh, or of the amazing updates like this in the CAD. So let's just see about what is a trick related to the mirror tool. So let's say that you have written a text that is with the help of the single line text, I have written a text let's just make it as autocad or just make it enter just write autocad over here so you have written an autocad over here and there's a line and along this line you are going to mirror this so let's see what will going to happen if i'm going to mirror this thing so i'm going to select the mirror tool i'm going to select the object i'm going to select enter and for the mirror line i'm going to select from this part to this part so it will going to create the mirror but if you are going to create this in the actual mirror then that text will be inverted so here you can see that it will not going to produce the inverted text so this is why why this is happening because in the mirror command when we are using a mirror command then you have to provide a command that will going to tell autocad yes just invert the text that you want to that you have that you are going to mirror so for that you have to write mirror text in the command box so i'm going to write mirror text just press enter and then okay so it has just again you have to write mirror text so you can see that this is a mirror text command just mirror text okay so it's not a complete mirror text written it is mirror text m i w -R, r t e x t so you just have to click on this and you can see that it will going to ask you for the new value so here you don't have to provide any value you have to provide only one one means to invert the text zero means to not to invert the text so right now you can see that the current value is zero that's why it is not inverting the text just write one over here just press enter and now let's say that you want to just 
uh, make the copy of this again so for that uh, sorry make the mirror of this again so for that i'm going to just make a copy like this and i'm going to mirror this again so for that i'm going to click on the mirror select the tool that i want to mirror just press enter so select the line and now you can see the magic it will going to even make the text inverted so this is how you can just make your text inverted and looks exactly how it will going to look in the mirror if you want that thing to be back again you can just write mid text and just make it enter and just make this value as zero now it will going to work as it is it will not going to create uh, let's just delete this and just create a mirror again and you can see that it will going to create that same mirror again so with the help of this mirror text or mid text you can just change the text orientation and you can just invert it so i hope that you have liked this text for the more updates like this please do subscribe this channel and make sure that you tell me in the comment box what new trick that you want or what is the problem that is arising with you when you are going to work in the when you are working in the autocad so that's all for this lecture and see you inside the next one